Hey, welcome to Camping Gurus. Today we're going to test out this camping cot. And you know me, I like to just get right into it, so that's what we're going to do. But make sure you stick around to the end of the video to make sure you can get your free ebook and pre trip checklist. To make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. Now, I wanted a cot that was very firm, so I bought this one here. This is a Red Camp outdoor equipment, and it has a 500 pound weight capacity. I only weigh about 140 pounds, so I, my thought process was it would be super firm and that's what I prefer as a firm bed. Uh, it is an oversized, it's a little bit longer than a normal cot. However, I don't think it's much wider, maybe a couple inches. It does come with a nice bag, but we got that all out of the way so we can just show you um, what it is. Certainly not a backpacking cot. There's quite a frame structure to this, as you can see, uh, as, you know, because of the weight capacity that it can handle. Um, and it does have a pouch here, and you'll see that once we open it up. So there's a little clip right here, and this is sewn right to it, so you won't ever lose this strap. You unclip it, and now it'll open up for you. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now, so you can see. Really not much to it. Put it down. Push down on the middles here. Lock those in. Push down on the tail end of it here. And there you go. Uh, so as you can see, it does have this pretty extensive frame system. Uh, very durable, aluminum with plastic connectors, so, uh, you know, that's how most things are made today anyways, but like I said, I got one with a 500 pound capacity, thinking that it would be extra firm, so it won't sink down much, because I, I do prefer a firm bed. Now, it does raise up here at the, at the head end of it, so if you do not have a pillow, which you do want, if you do want to carry one, it does give you that added little bit of a rise to it for your head to be comfortable. Here is that pouch I was showing you about. You can stick stuff in here, a cell phone. There's a couple different compartments. Uh, let me turn this around so you can see that a little bit better. And here's that compartment right here. Uh, the front one is mesh. You got a larger pocket here, smaller one here. I guess your cell phone will fit in there. And then you have a bigger pocket here that you can put stuff in. That's it. Like I said, this is the Red Camp um, outdoor equipment. Our oversized cot, uh, and I did notice it's not as wide as I would have hoped it to be, but that's my own fault for not checking the measurements. But it certainly is longer. I'm turning back around so my head's going uphill. Now I'm about 5'5, five five, so let's just sit down here and lay down. My feet are right at the end down there, and if I lay down, you can see I have a good 8 10 inches, probably, well, maybe not that much. Yeah, probably about eight inches above my head. So there's definitely room for me to slide up here. And certainly my feet are not gonna hang off or anything like that. Uh, so I do like that feature. Again, not as wide as I would have liked, uh, but that's not too much of a big deal. I'm a side sleeper, so I'd be on my side like this. And there seems to be ample room for me for my knees to come up and not hang out or hit on the metal brackets here. Uh, so that's pretty good. It is sinking in a little bit but uh, that's normal for any cot. Um, the material seems very, very durable. The edging is really, it's got this extra sewn seam on it or this head, um, I don't know what they call it, but trimming on it. So it makes that a little extra durable so it's not gonna fray or start to rip. I am gonna sleep on this tonight and I'm gonna give you a full final review on how I slept tomorrow and then you'll get that in a little bit. The real test is sleeping on it. Uh, and seeing how it really how it really sleeps now I will have a sleeping bag and a pillow and um, I'll try and show you that too I'm not sleeping outside tonight first impressions uh, it is extremely durable it seems very the material is very durable framework is very durable does not take up a huge amount of space hold it back up real quick here so you see how that works uh, I think you have to grab the ends here and lift them up yep okay if I grab the two ends lift that up like that Lift this end up as well, then it starts to come together kind of like that. So it goes pretty easy. Just kind of wiggle it as you go, and everything kind of goes back together. Nice and snug like that. And here's that strap that's made right to it so you won't lose it. Wrap it right around the back side here. Come around here, and then you can hook it back in like so 
uh, and then you can put it back in the bag. Uh, the bag is made out of the same material as this. Um, I didn't show you it because I didn't think it was that big a deal. I just wanted to get right to it. And again, this is Red Camp Out, excuse me, Red Camp Outdoor Equipment. I'll put a link to this in the description. I'll let you know how I slept on it. Hopefully you can see me. I am in the cot that I talked about earlier. Uh, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep here. That light on my phone is bright. And uh, we'll be with you in the morning and tell you how it all works. I got a sleep bag, I do have a pillow, um, but it's just a cot, no padding. So we'll see how it all turns out. We'll see you in the morning. All right, well, I brought this outside here so I could just do the final review of it. Um, I did sleep on it last night and my findings were one, uh, very firm, which I like, is comfortable very durable i really like the pocket thing for putting my phone and stuff in um the only downside is is i had the ac running now you experience this outside too i had the ac running i was in the sleeping bag as you saw with that short clip but uh with no padding between me and this um it, it got very cool very cold actually in here so if you're going to be using this in the winter or cooler weather i would definitely put some sort of pad on top of this so you don't feel the cold right through the right through the base of this. Um, but yeah, definitely comfortable. Now, I'm gonna be sleeping on this two nights a week uh, indefinitely for probably the next year. So if you have any questions and it's been some time, ask and I'll tell you how it's holding up and I'll try and do a, a, a follow-up video down the road. Uh, at any rate, I really appreciate you swinging by Two Camping Gurus. Don't forget to click on the link down in the description so you can get your free ebook and pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. There's also a link down in the description for this, and this is the Red Camp um, oversized camping cot. Very durably built. It's uh, meant for a 500 pound capacity. So yeah, that's it. If you look for a comfortable cot for camping, this may just be the one for you. Happy camping, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.